Hello and welcome here at Hotodi. My name is Bernd. It's quite a difficult name for English speaking people, but anyway, you can call me Bruce as well. I don't care. I couldn't care less. Okay, today we want to talk about a circle. You know, this round thing with the 360 degrees. We want to talk about how to calculate the area of it, how to calculate the outline. Yeah. And what do we need for it? We need first at all. Well, sure, we need a circle, of course. But the first thing we really need is the number called pi. Pi. It's, it has nothing to do with apple pies, nothing to eat. It's this Greek old guy thousand years ago. He had this number. He found this number called pi. Pi, normally we say 3.14. So... Remind this 3.14, but pi is so much larger. It's such an amazing, well, and, and how would Steve Jobs say? Incredible, unbelievable number. You know, there was this English guy, it was roughly two or three years ago. So this guy, he knows out of his mind four or five pages full of the numbers after the comata. So let's start. I want to show you the number pi. This number is so incredible, big, amazing, unbelievable. You know, Steve Jobs, he loves to say these words about his Megos X. The same goes to this number. You see, this number is 3.14159. and 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 blah, 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 blah. This number is so huge. You can see I scroll down and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll and scroll. Wow. So we don't need the whole number. So what are we going to do is round down. Round down means we need two numbers after the comma, after the point. So we need 3.14. What are we going to do? You see 3.14159. The 9 is there to round up. So the 5 in front of the 9 becomes a 6 and we forgot about the 9. We have 3.1416. Okay, we're going to round up again. You know, it's a 6 now. So the 1 in front of the 5, in front of the 6, I'm sorry, becomes a 2. 3.142, you know, 2 is not above the 5, so we round, we round down. In the end, we cut it just off. What I mean is... Pi is now 3.14. That's it. Forget about anything else. That's it. Don't fill up your brain with stuff we really don't going to use now. We don't need this. Okay, well, let's go to the next step now. Okay, let me show you again this circle, this round. It's 360 degrees. You know, when, you, when you've been in trouble before and your mom was so proud about you and she said, man... He changed himself, so he changed himself to 360 degrees. You know, this is going one around. This is not good. We're going to go back, okay? So if they say, man, the guy, he changed 180 degrees. This means he made it completely cut. He gets into a new direction. He gets cool. So 360, you also know about the directions it's the north the south the east the west it's zero and 360 it's 90 degrees it's 180 degrees it's 270 degrees and it's 360 degrees this is a circle okay what are we going to need now is a diameter the diameter is the point from one edge to the other edge exactly in the middle you see this line, this is what I talked about, the, the diameter. The next is, we need this number we talked about is, well, this Steve Jobs number, the pi, 3.14. Okay, the next thing, we want to measure the outline. So, the outline, the circumference, the outline, is quite simple to calculate. Really. It's so simple, it's so easy. So you don't even have to run up your brain. You don't even have to change the gear from one to two. What we need is we multiply the diameter with 
pi, yeah, that's it. We just multiplicate diameter with pi. So let's say sample with 1.33 as a diameter. The diameter is 1.33 multiplicated with 3.14. In the end, we have 4.1762. Wow, that's it. That's the outline. It's not more to do. With a circle, we can do another thing called area. An area, you know, is the place inside a form. This is an area. So, why do we need an area? Maybe later you want to build up a swimming pool. You know, you need the area. You need to know the area, how big it is. So, even if you go up with the height, you know the volume. That's the simplest trick in the world. Okay, for the area, we need a radius. The, the radius? Yes, it's totally simple. The radius is simply the diameter divided with 2. That's it, nothing more. You remember we had this 1.33 as a diameter, we divided with 2 and now we have 0 0.665. You know, by now it's so simple to calculate the circle. Now you see the flames coming up. The area you calculate r in a square multiplicated with pi. What does it mean? That means 0 0.665 multiplicated with itself multiplicated with 3.14 in the end you have 1.389 square meters. Square feet, square yards, whatever you want. You know, that's it. So, you saw calculating a circle is unbelievably easy. You see this round thing, there are no edges, there are no crop borders or something like this. And believe me, you will need it very often in your life. Care about this simple mathematical things because you will need all this form stuff in your life. So mathematics, it's really important for you guys. You will love it, believe me. It's just logic. You don't have to become a philosopher, nothing else. You're just going to make simple mathematics. Okay, you know what? That's it for now. Please watch us further with the other videos we're going to do for mathematics. We love to be with you. We try to help you. If you have some ideas, suggestions, hey, you know what? Let's know. Just make a comment on our video channel on Hotodi on YouTube. My name is Bernd. The guy behind the camera, his name is also Bernd. So, if it's, a difficult, if it's too difficult for you to pronounce our name, call us Bruce. Take your time. See you later.